Engineering Mechanics Part 5. Today, we'll solve uh, Situation 8 and Situation 9. Okay, situation 8. Uh, we have here a bracket no, na sinusuportahan ng isang spring. So, si spring CD, uh, it remains horizontal dahil, dahil slotted si D dito. No? Laging horizontal si CD. And, ang sabi dito, uh, nung hinila mo siya, the system will achieve equilibrium nung yung theta mo ay naging 30 degrees. Okay? So, ayan yung situation natin. Now, for the first problem, first question, okay. determine the stiffness K of the spring. Paano natin makukuha si stiffness? Alam natin na sa mga springs, di ba, yung force is equal to Kx, where, where yung K, yan yung stiffness, at yung X is yung deformation ng spring natin. Okay. Now, ang sabi, kapag 30 degrees to, doon lang mag-equilibrium, ibig sabihin, from, from this uh, figure, makuha natin yung deformation niya. So, alam natin na given sa figure na 0.6 yung part na to na nakatagilid from A to C. From A to C. And from the original position, na-stretch yung, yung spring by this value. Okay? And as you can see, since 30 degrees to, this should be a sine of uh, 30 degrees times 0 0.6 yung hypotenuse. Okay? 0 0.6 sin times sine 30 degrees, which comes out as 0 0.3 a meter. So, alam natin na ang deformation natin is 0 0.3 meters. Kaya ang hinahanap na lang is yung force para makuha yung stiffness. Kasi stiffness from this equation should be F over X. So, hanapin natin yung force. Pag sinabing equilibrium, ang ibig sabihin nun, hindi gumagalaw yung system. So, in equation form, it's just a summation of forces must be equal to zero or, okay, or ano pa yung isang paggalaw? Yung summation ng moment, which is yung rotation niya, must be equal to zero. Hindi siya nagta-translate, hindi siya kumakanan, kaliwa, taas, baba. Hindi siya nag-rotate. Hindi siya umiikot clockwise or counterclockwise para equilibrium. Ang gagamitin ko is itong moment equation natin. I will get the summation of moments at, let's see, let's say at point A. Point A. Okay, summation of moments at point A must be equal to zero for equilibrium. Let's take uh, clockwise as positive. Okay? Para magawa ko yan, kailangan ko yung pre-body diagram ng system natin. So, drawing ko dito. Ito yung bracket. And then, we have here yung force sa spring. Okay? And then, meron kang force, let's say, F sub S para spring. And then, force F, which is 300 newtons as given in the figure. Now, si F, 300 newtons, kukunin ko yung kanyang uh, components with respect dito sa CB. Ito yung CB natin. So, kukunin ko yung component niya. Uh, kung wari, ito yung ano. Okay, ito yung X prime, Y prime axis. So, ang component ni F ay CB should be the following, no? Uh, ito at saka ito. Yan yung component ni F. Para ma-moment ko siya kay point A. So, this should be 30 degrees. So, we have here F uh, or 300 cosine of 30 degrees at saka isang component is 300 sine of 30 degrees. No, pag nag-moment ako, we have Fs okay, times yung moment arm niya which is ito, yung moment arm ni Fs. So, doon sa figure that should be 0 0.6 cosine of 30 degrees. Okay, and it will rotate in a counterclockwise manner. Kaya, ganyan natin itong negative. And then, we have, let's see, itong 300 sine 30 degrees. Ang moment arm niya, 
will be etong perpendicular distance ato which is yung 0.6 meters ato 0.6 meters so times mo ng 0.6 meters it will rotate the bracket in a clockwise fashion so positive and then yung isa pang component ni F which is 300 cosine 30 degrees times ang moment arm is this distance which is 0.45 meters as given in the figure again this is positive so dapat ito equal to 0 etong etong equation na to dapat equal to 0 at isa lang yung missing which is F sub S or yung force sa spring. And using your calculator, uh, masusolve natin yung if force sa spring is, tignan natin yung calculator, ito 398.21. Uh, so that's 398.21 tons. Ang hinahanap is K. So K is equal to force 398.21 and the deflection of 0.3. So, the stiffness is, okay, so itong answer mo, divide mo lang ng 0.3 and we get 1,327 or about 1,000, uh, 1.33 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so this is our answer, 1.33 kilonewtons per meter. Kinonvert ko na in kilonewtons and as you can see, that is letter B. Next problem tayo, problem number 24, pangalawang problem para sa situation na to. Determine the vertical component at A. So, vertical component ng reaction sa A. Yung A kasi, meron niyang reactions, di ba? Uh, meron niyang upward siguro or rightward reaction. Let's call this A sub Y at saka A sub X. Ang hinahanap sa question na to is si A sub Y. So, pinakamadaling paraan, mag-summation lang tayo ng forces sa Y must be equal to 0. Let's take upward as positive. We have AY, positive AY. And then, walang vertical component yung spring. Or sa spring, it's rightward. So, ignore na natin yung spring force. Pero, i-consider natin yung force na given na to, itong F. Okay, minus 300 newtons must be equal to 0 and therefore, the vertical component of the reaction at A is 300 newtons. So, 300 newtons is the answer for the second problem, problem 24. Pangatlong problem for situation number 8, determine the horizontal component at A. Para makuha yun, mag-summation lang tayo ng forces horizontal. Must be equal to 0. Let's take rightward as positive. So, we have A sub X. Pa-right yung assumption ko. Okay, pa-right yung assumption ko dito. And then, ano pa? Yung F wala naman yung horizontal component. So, yung spring force na lang. Pero ano ba yung spring force natin? Yung problem kanina, balikan natin. So, nasolve na natin yung spring force eh. And that is this value. Yung force sa spring is 398.21 tons. So, sulat natin dito. Minus. Okay. Minus 398.21 newtons. Dahil siya ay pa left. Must be equal to zero. And therefore, yung horizontal uh, component ng reaction sa A is 398.21 so this is our answer for the third question for situation 8 or problem number 25. And that answer is letter C. Okay, for problems 26 to 28, we have situation number 9. A crane cable is supporting a 100 kN load as shown below. So, ito, itong binubuhat ng crane natin na to is 100 kN. Okay? Oh, by the way, uh, isipin nyo lang dito sa problem na to, ito ay pulley. Tapos dito naman sa point C, hindi to pulley. This is uh, a joint. So, ibig sabihin, yung tension sa CD, ito, saka yung tension kay CE, magkaiba. Hindi siya equal. Okay? Yun yung, yun yung given na situation. Now, for the first Problem, first two problems actually, we can solve it 
simultaneously, find the tension in cable CD at saka tension in cable uh, CE. So, i-drawing natin no, yung pre-body diagram at join C. Pre-body diagram, we have force pataas, ito yung force CD, tapos merong force CE. They are inclined at angles. Ano yung mga angle na yun? Okay, kung malabo. Actually, this is 35 degrees, no? Baka malabo, eh. Okay, drawing lang natin dito. Kung 35 yun, itong angle dito is also 35 degrees. Sa kabila naman, 48 degrees. Now, anong value nitong cable na to na pataas? No? Mula sa si pataas, anong value? Since 100 kilonewtons yung binubuhat niya and for this kind of problems, we, we neglect yung weight ng mga tali dahil negligible sila. Since 100 to, of course, ang binubuhat nito, yung tension dito, must be equal to 100 kilonewtons din. Ay sulat natin dito yon 100 kilonewtons. So we have here the pre-body diagram at joint C. And... Since this is in equilibrium, yung summation ng forces x must be equal to 0. And as you can see, ano lang ba yung may x component? Yung x component ni FCD at saka ni FCE, kailangan equal sila. Or you can rewrite that as an equation. Let's take for this one left as positive, no? kaliwa yung positive. So we have force CD times sine of 35 degrees. Minus force CE times sine of 48 degrees must be equal to 0. And then let's take downward as positive summation of forces Y equal 0. So itong nasa taas, yung summation of forces X, this is our first equation. Nagawa ulit tayo na isa pang equation kasi dalawa yung hinahanap, CD at saka CE. So, from equilibrium equation, summation of forces Y or in vertical components must be equal to zero. Let's take downward. Plus positive downward. Downward component ni FCD is FCD cosine of 35 degrees. Ang downward component ni FC is FCE cosine of 48 degrees. Dapat ito equal dun sa upward. Or we can just say minus 100 is equal to 0. So this is our second equation. At sa calculator, itatype mo lang yan. So punta ka sa equation solver ng calculator mo. And you will get the following values. FCD is equal to, ayon sa calculator natin, is 74.80. 7 kilonewtons at saka yung FCE ay 57.79 kilonewtons. So, for letter uh, number 26, 74.87, letter A yung sagot. And for number 27, find the tension cable CE. So, that's 57.79. So, these are our answers. Bonus question yung 28. Find the force F. Saan yung force F? Force F is this one. Ito, sa taas. Ano daw yan? Ano yung tension sa kabling yan? Uh, paano malalaman? Simple lang. Pulli daw to. So, kung pulli yan, pag dinrawing mo kasi yan, di ba? Uh, ito yung pulli mo. Meron kang force F, may nakapulupot na tali, force F. And alam natin na yung tension sa kable na to, kat sabi, ng, sabi ko kanina is 100. Okay, ayan, 100. Dahil 100 yung binubuhat niya, so 100 kilonewtons to. E iisang tali lang to na nakapulupot sa puli. So we have F is equal to 100 kilonewtons. So, 100 kilonewtons yung sagot sa letter, ah, uh, number 28, na letter B. Like me yung video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo hindi dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.